physics class 11th fifth chapter which is motion in a plane question number 5.29 so in this what we have given 10 1 rupee coin are put on one of each other on a table and each coin has a mass m in this we have to find out the first part the force on the seventh coin counted from the bottom due to all the coins on its top so let us talk about the coin which is number seven so for this coin we can say that the force acted on the seventh coin by the coins which is above it so the coins which are above 7 kg are coin number 8th 9th and 10 and the mass of these coin is 3m if we consider mass of per coin m so by making the free body diagram we can say that the force exerted by seventh coin on upper coin is normal so the upper coin will also exert a force of normal on seventh coin. So in this we are supposed to find out the value of normal. So making the FBD of upper part, we can say that on upper part, the downward force which is acting is 3mg. So if we make the FBD of upper part, that is three coins that are eight, nine and 10. So for the coin eight, nine and 10, the mass of the system is three. So downward force is three mg and the upward force is normal. It is at rest. So normal is equal to three mg. So from this, we can say that the force exerted on the seventh coin due to all the coin on its top is equal to three mg. Now coming to B part. B part, the force on the seventh coin by the eighth coin. So in this, you are supposed to deal the seventh coin and eighth coin. So this is, let's say seventh coin, and this is your eighth coin. So in this force exerted by eighth coin on seventh coin is normal, let's say N. So by action reaction pair, this force will also be N. If eighth coin exert a force of normal on seventh coin, then seventh coin will also exert or normal in upward direction to eighth coin. Now, in order to find the value of N, we can use that FBD of eighth coin. <coughs> so when you consider the eighth coin, so this is let's say eighth coin. So if you do the FBD of eighth coin, so there are two forces that this is normal, this is MZ, and another force is, which is contact of coin number, 9 and 10. This is coin number 9 and 10. So, so 9 and 10 are also imparting a force of n dash on the weight on the coin 8th. So this n dash can be written as if 9th and 10 are applying the force n dash on 8th coin. So 8th coin will also apply a force n dash on system of 9 and 10th coin. So from this we can say that n dash is equal to 2 mg. It is balancing mass of two coins, so n dash is equal to two mg, and from this we can say that n is equal to n dash plus mg. This implies that normal is equal to mg. And then now last part, which is third part, reaction on the sixth coin, on the reaction of the sixth coin on seventh coin. You are supposed to find out the reaction of the coin sixth coin on seventh coin. So this is sixth coin and you are supposed to find normal between these. So normal between these can be find out six and seven. In C part, we are supposed to find normal between coin six and seven. So break this into two part. One is seven, eight, nine, 10. Seven, eight, nine, 10. And other is one to six. One to six. So you are supposed to find this normal in this situation. So in order to find this normal, we can use system this complete system is addressed. So on this system, the upward force is normal and downward force is equal to 4 mg is equal to zero as it is rest. So n is equal to 4 mg. The force exerted by the sixth coin on seventh coin is equal to